Okay, to get those ripped up abs, we now understand that we have to do repetition, but we also have to do progressive overload. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you five ways that you can progressively overload your abs to build density into the stomach. And before we go on guys, make sure that you hit the like button, make sure that you're subscribed, and throw a comment in the section if you got another great exercise that can build up those dense abs. Exercise number one. When it comes to building dense abs, the best exercise, in my opinion, is the trunk twist. This is a great exercise that relates to a lot of different sports, and you're gonna provide resistance to those obliques and into the abs. So your arms are gonna be straight out, you're gonna twist down, and you're gonna squeeze your belly button towards your sp spine, and you're gonna feel that stretch as you go up with the abs and down, squeezing, up, feeling that stretch. You're gonna do 10 per side, and you're gonna make sure that you're squeezing on the way down, feeling that stretch on the way up, add resistance as you get stronger. The next exercise you're gonna do is a weighted crunch. You can use a single handle or you can use a rope. All you're gonna do is put your tailbone onto the, the back of the bar, and you're gonna crunch, but as you're crunching, you're gonna squeeze those abs, okay? You're gonna engage the abs on the way down and on the way up. So as you go down, make sure that you're really squeezing those abs, working on that six pack. You got a little extra resistance to a basic exercise called the weighted crunch. The next exercise is the hanging leg raise. So you're just gonna let your body weight hang and then you're just gonna drive your knees up towards your chest. If you wanna make that a little bit harder, you stabilize your abs, drive your legs up towards your chest and right away you're gonna engage into those lower abs or your hip flexors working from the waist up to the belly button. The next exercise that you're gonna do to build up those dense abs, you're gonna grab yourself a weight. We're gonna provide resistance, okay? So we're gonna do a dumbbell chop where you're squeezing the abs on the way down and stabilizing on the way up. It's a great way to work into the middle section of the core. Now you wanna work into your obliques. You're gonna chop down, again, squeezing on the abs that you're twisting into. You go up, you twist to the other side, up, twist to the other side, squeeze on the way down, feel the stretch on the way up. Next dense ab exercise is the ab wheel. It's like an advanced plank, okay? So you're gonna try and get yourself level with the ground. Right away, you're gonna feel your core engage. Now, as you extend out, you're stretching those muscles out to really create a contraction and stabilization. So it really challenges the core past any type of plank that you'll do Using this ab wheel, you're gonna really feel that stretch into the core. You're gonna feel that dense muscle build into the midline of those abs. So there we have it guys. That's the five exercises that you should be doing to build up dense muscle to progressively overload those abs and get you that six pack. Speaking of six pack, the belly burn challenge is coming up. Go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. Mention the belly burn. And before you go, make sure you hit that like button.